Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are taking a look at five of my favorite note-taking apps right now and I'm only covering new note-taking apps so things like Notion, Obsidian, Logzek won't be covered in this video even though they are great apps. And the first one is my personal favorite. This is called Heptabase so if you're into mind mapping cards and connecting different ideas together uh, with cards this might be the best app out there for you it also has a databases just like notion has inside of its tag it is quite similar to something like tana which we will come back to a little bit later in this video but it has databases as well and an AI assistant but the main part of Heptabase is whiteboards and cards inside of whiteboards and it is really easy to reuse cards inside of here as well. The next video, the next note-taking app, not video, the next note-taking app is called uh, Anytype and this is sort of like a more privacy focused Notion, imagine a blend between Obsidian and Notion. You can link different things together using the at symbol. It has a graph view that you can look at if you connect things together. You can see it inside of the graph view. This is my YouTube video space. So this is the space I use for making YouTube videos. I have my private space as well, but this doesn't have any uh, anything inside of it. I'm not using any type every single day anymore but I used it a lot when it first came out. This is a great alternative to something like Notion if you're into databases and if privacy is something that is important to you. I recommend trying out AnyType. Both AnyType and uh, Heptabase are quite new apps so there might be still be a couple of bugs but I haven't had any major problems with any of the apps. So the next app is called Tooth and this is one of my favorite applications. I would recommend everyone start with something like Tooth when you are building your second brain. This works quite well for people who don't want to spend a lot of time organizing and just wants to capture things quite easily. It has a calendar so you can use it as a to-do list. Uh, you can also store your events inside of here and it has lists where you can store things in different topics. For example, I have my book notes inside of here. It also has a review feature which is quite new where you can review your lists and notes which is again a great thing because we tend to store a lot of our different ideas and then never getting back to them. But you can store things inside of twos and get back to them later and it also has great search functionality which have been mainly what I've been using when I have tried out the app. But this is absolutely a great app to use uh, if you are looking to build your second brain or just looking to actually take notes quite easily. So again a great app and this one is called Tooth. Then we have Reflect Notes and if you're looking for something to take notes and connect different notes together, something like Obsidian or Rome Research, but you want something that is a lot easier to use, then Reflect is probably the best app out there. It is lightning fast, it has a great mobile app, and it is very simple to use. It just like any type has a map feature where you can see all of your different notes in a map which is again great. I love having a map feature. It, I don't use it for anything but it is nice to have and it's fun to look at. So that's a uh, reflect for you. The last note taking app I am taking a look at today or recommending today is called Tana and Tana is a really good note-taking app but it has quite a learning curve to it. I've never been able to learn or understand it but it has databases just like Notion using uh, what they call super tags which is similar to something like the tags inside of Heptabase. It is quite a powerful app and I've seen people 
using it for almost everything. A great option, but I haven't ever been able to understand or learn it, so this is probably for the hardcore note takers out there. Nantana is a great option if you are one of those, so check out Tana as well. And that's five note taking apps for you. Comment down below which one is your favorite, which one do you like the most and which one have you tried and I hope to see you again quite soon.